Hi guys, welcome to Let's Go Fishing. Let me ask. Hello. <laughs> we are fishing the Nile. Um, we, our previous program that went out on YouTube was a specimen session yet and all. So straight after that we dove in, decided to do a bank angling session. So for the first time I'm going to fish on some feet. But we also decided to fish different distances um, to test ourselves, to test the product. And we're going to do a couple of different things while we're fishing here. Um, some strict rules at the Nile for bank angling, only one hook allowed. 10 pound um, minimum main line that you're allowed to fish. And I can just tell you, um, I hope if, if they bite on the papoy stuff like they did on the specimen stuff, we're going to have a quick one. <laughs> we <laughs> might go to Wimpy in an hour. Um, there's a lot of fish about. Um, we've we've been catching some fish um, leading up to this program literally 20 meters from the side but what we're going to do first we're going to do a proper bank angling session catch a couple of fish uh, a bit deeper show you what we do what we use i've done my homework on what works here and then we're going to try and catch a, a fish or two on 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 zigs there goes mias's rod on a zig which is not allowed mias it's not allowed I'm going to make some feet for you. Um, there's a lot of guys asking us about our signature series feet. It's growing in popularity. I often get um, complaints that the shops don't keep enough. If your shop doesn't keep enough, ask them to order for you. Ask them to place a special order for you. There is a lot of people that's, that's getting onto this. So the green bag with the hat on the, and the glasses signature series. Um, we've got some mixing instructions on the back so it's two and a half cups of feed and one cup of water a lot of people are struggling with the half cup all right so i'm going to double that up so that's going to multiply to um, five cups of feed and two cups of water i'm just gonna and it doesn't matter how big your cup is it, it's about the measurement of water and the measurement of feed that goes in into the bucket so not heaped up, just level. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So that's five cups of feet. And now two cups of water. One cup and another cup. Two cups of water. I'm going to mix this through properly. And the smell that comes out of here is like when you do popcorn at home. It's nice and nice and soggy. Go through that. All you need to do now is leave it for a couple of minutes. But for normal bank angling circumstances, that's what I'll use. I am going to add a bit of our new feeding palette. My first rod is ready to go out, so we've decided between Mias and me that we're going to fish our middle rods together. We're going to fish at 45 meters and there's a blue gazebo on the other side. It's short of the feet that we put in for our specimen program um, and I think it's about five, six hours since we fished there or fed there, so there will be nothing left to fish here in the Nile is they chomping off everything that you throw at them. What I've got on here is an Almond Supreme Aero. So Aero is basically a floating bullet. Um, skin hooked, just pushed back into the bomb and then I've got that fruity curl in there because the fish in here like fishy stuff. All right, they also like fruit, so that's hence the fr fruity curl and then Mango Tango, one of our new dips on the bomb. Single hook link, 
a bit longer, maybe 13, 14 centimeters, because there's a bit of salt in here. Let's get it on the spot and see how long it takes. Guys, my second rod is almost ready to go out. So what I've done here is I, I've got a hard aniseed float on top with a plain bullet, white bullet behind that. And I'm just going to put some scallion on this bomb. So scallion is that very strong garlic onion dip. Just like that. Ooh, this wind, this wind. And with that, I'm going to put a little bit of chin chok cha. So this is my outside rod. I'm going to fish it at around about 80 meters, a bit out to the left. The guys on our left aren't fishing that far, but there is a couple of nice fish jumping there. So I want to see if I can catch the fish. Let's do it. Mias, 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 we're fishing no alarms here. <laughs> Are you waiting for the alarm to go? Ooh, duck first. No guys, honestly, this is weird, eh? This is my first Pakhoi car. Bank angling. Okay, uh, uh, sincere apologies. Bank angling zone six. <laughs> Rich flake car be probably in two years. I haven't done this in a while and it's so much fun. Now guys, this was that, uh, that garlic arrow and uh, this is the one that had the uh, T-Rex and Raptor. T-Rex Raptor, T-Rex Raptor. Beautiful ghosty, that uh, T-Rex and that the people that are still still there are the Casserai Raptor, yellow Raptor with a garlic, garlic uh, era. era okay. All right, let's get it back, me also. Thank you, these fish. This one drop back. Where are you? Here are you. Here we go. And what's this? Good perky. Yes. Good boy, on these rigs. Catch a proper fish. Oh no, now it's getting heavy. <laughs> they swim again as soon as, as soon as they feel that they hook. They're coming in a bit. I must say, there's plenty, plenty fish right here in front of us, around about 20, 25 meters out. And uh, I think what we need to do is put a, put a taste there. Sometimes you just have to look where the fish are active. And um, where they're active, that's where they're feeding. They can't go to Kentucky or McDonald's or something like that. Where they show, that's where they eat. So make a mental note and cast there. We'll do that in a bit. The stash is coming in quite quickly. Let's see what it is. There's a nice bank angling cop on that Almond Supreme Era. That fruity krill and the mango tango on the bomb. I'm doing something wrong. I've lost a couple of fish off camera. This is number seven, one of seven. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I must hit them harder. Let's get this one back. 
get it straight into the spot catch another one we're here by the Nile and um, there's some some people that ask for help so they're not fishing with a leader so we're gonna do a quick leader knot and there's lots of people that it, that does ask us often how do you do a leader knot so it's quite easy what you do with your main line you double up your main line like that so you make a loop like that and then you just push your fingers through you basically make a butterfly knot with that and then your leader line is going to go through the the double knot you're going to pull tight on onto your leader line and it's easy now all you're going to do now is take your your single line which is your leader line and wrap it three times around the double line one two three times and then just push it back through the little hole it makes there give it some moisture and now you're just going to pull tight on this once it's like that i just bite on the tag end give it a slight tug and you nip off the tag ends and that is as easy as by one two three leader knot very small and now you can cast a mile with some thin line attached to a thicker leader line Yes, you're liking the papgoi? I gotta admit, it's a lot of fun, eh? Proper fish, proper <laughs> yeah, Beautiful fish. fish. On that garlic arrow again? Garlic arrow. You landing them, I'm losing them. Lost two in a row, three in a row now. So, I don't know why. But Mias is landing them. Luckily we two. Nice fish, but get it back. Guys, we're seeing a lot of fish on around about that 40, 45 meters, but they're all on top. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spawn some pallets out. It's not really necessary. We're catching a lot of fish, but I made these Ching Chong Cha pallets, especially for the Nile, and I just have to, have to try them. Just our betaine maize pallet with some Ching Chong Cha in, into that. Just mixed it through, and I just added a little bit of SA powder um, on the back side of that just to, to dry them out quickly but there's a lot of fish just here so just a 45 meter cast Ooh, on its head what we're trying to do is feed horizontally on that 45 meters because we're fishing there together with our inside rods so i'm going oh, i'm going a bit to the left and mias is going to go a bit to the right and we'll do a bit in between not too much just a little bit there's some big up on the surface we just want to pull them down in this pallet mix there's a couple of floating pallets as well and um Normally with the specimen style of fishing, we do fish a lot of zigs. Mias, you're up for a zig fish. I don't have to invite him twice. <laughs> I think we're going to change one rod to, to a zig rod. Can I, can I, can I please? Yes, you can. Um, where the spawn is falling at the moment, there's already carp on the surface feeding on, on those feeding pallets. So we're just going to keep it going. Mias is going to throw that zig rod and uh, we'll see if we can catch something on that. Right hand rod is ready to go out, fruity curl on top, that red mango tango and the um, Almond Supreme Aero. 
I'm going to put it on those pallets. So Mias is going to fish for the, the, the fish on, on the surface. I'm going to fish for them on the bottom. Let's get it out there. Okay, so Mias, you ready with that zig? Yes, no. Can I just give you a breakdown quickly? Um, this is a 10 pound monofilament that's on here. And double X. Double X. Extreme abra not uh, extreme abrasion, double X, high abrasion. High visit, the, the white one. The white one, yes. Then we got a size 8 mixer on there. And that is sort of like trying to match the hatch of the pellets that we just just threw that um, ting tong ta. Pellets that's in there, you can see the fish is going nuts for those pellets that's on there. You already have a bite there. Oh, there we go, there we go. That was a quick one. We just threw those pellets, he's on with the fish. So the depth is about 1.8 meters off this rig. I'm going to try and let this basically to float on top where the fish are eating. And uh, that's zig fishing, you can see it's a very long rig. Just to give you a breakdown, when, you, when we do the zig fishing, because of the really long hooking that we have, you can already see I'm holding the rod and it's just spinning like that. So I deal with that is we got a little bit of a wind, but uh, when you cast it out, you can't just let it fall. Before the weight actually hits the, the surface of the water, you've got to break it and that will give that pop-up that we're fishing time to fly past and then go and uh, lie on top of the weight. So let me show you how we cast this. I say catching these proper carp on a thin hook link, 7 pound extreme abrasion is extremely challenging. This rod was in the water for literally less than a minute. My millibomb is really soft and it's still there, it hasn't dissolved. Um, it's, it's probably going to come off right now, but this is another quality fish. That almond supreme error doing its thing. Remember to skin hook it. I'll show you now how to do it. Um, skin hooking the arrows is crucial. Um, they are way tougher than a, than a, a soft float or, or a hard float. So you only a skin hook and that's, that's going to allow the hook to penetrate and do its work. While I'm on with this fish, remember to um, hit the notification bell, subscribe to our channel, tell your friends and family about our channel. The more people we get to watch it, the more we can do this. Come on, come on, come on. And if there's somewhere you want us to go and fish, let us know in the comments. Here we go. About a two kilo fish. Not a big one by any means, but a really quick fish. I'm getting it straight back. Same bait. Back onto the mealy bomb, onto the hook. Hopefully to catch a bigger one. There's plenty of fish out there now. Those pellets, they, they're instant in, in, in the gnaw. And there's no reason why they shouldn't work anywhere else. Try it if you want to try something new. It works for us. It will definitely work for you. Mias. Mias just caught a very nice ghost carp on the Robin Red pop-up on that Zig, that modified Zig. Well done, buddy. Thank you. That's a proper one. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Is, is that a PB on a ghosty on a Zig? Uh, for sure, now? yes. So, it's, is that an ice ball? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which I wouldn't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Get the coldest water. Fish, fish care is part of, of what we do and the Nile supplies these um, unhooking stations. We're going to get this fish straight back. There's a lot more to catch. Nice Beautiful. fish, Mias. Thank you. My work plate on my right hand rod is the Almond Supreme Aeros. They dried out a bit, so what I did, I took some Almond Supreme spray, just sprayed it on top of them, and they're softening up quite quickly. I'm going to show you how to do that skin hook. Let me show you how to do it. 
So I'm hooking it in the length of the of the area. So I'm going to push the hook in just behind the barb, and then I'm going to take the hook and turn it so that it comes out like that. So most of the arrow is on the outside of the hook now and the hook is actually open and can hook the fish. Guys when you fish the thicker stuff out of, out of the bottles and you haven't got pumps on this, this is how you do it. So shake it out a bit until it comes out and then just let it grip the bomb and just turn it like that, build the ice cream. After this you can go and work at Milky Lane. And on the other one, same thing. The mango is also a bit thicker, not as thick. No wastage. All right, easy as that. Mias is gonna put some sinking pellets out just on about 10 to 15 meters, just to pull the carp in. And after that, we're gonna put some floating pellets to pull them up to the surface. So let's hope it works. For the people that wanna know about the Nile, there is open weekends at the Nile. And here when you can book here, you can't just rock up and fish, you have to, you have to pre-book. Um, strict rules, of course, but I must tell you, there isn't another place in South Africa like the Nile. A really a special place, proper fishing. Um, there's big blue carp here, there's monstrous barbers. Um, there's proper carp, lots of carp. You can catch them on papgo, you can catch them on specimen. Man, you can catch them anywhere you want. There's plenty of fish here. So, if you want to fish it, make a reservation and just come do what we did. You'll have success, that's guaranteed. This is a proper fish, I'm going to concentrate on it. go another two and a half maybe three kilo copy um, nice fish for, for bank angling and that's why we've got these mats not too bad they like those almond supreme arrows we've got a couple on the garlic arrow as well but I must say the almond supreme arrow outfish that garlic arrow I think it's a pink color and also that fruity krill that goes with it we're gonna catch one or two more and then we're gonna back up. There's a storm moving in. See you in a bit. some weather moving in and the lightning is in the horizon Mias is packing up <laughs> the wind is picking up so this is our last fish for this program thanks for watching remember to tell everybody about our program and watch out for our new Fuscop channel that's coming one of these days we're going to do a couple of african shows um, there's a whole season that's that's going to start airing real soon and then if that is done, we're going to add some new programs to that. So lots of things coming. Tell us where you want us to fish in a comment. Let me concentrate in this wind on this fish to land it. And we'll see you next time. Look at that. For a stormy weather call. Last fish for the program, Mias is holding the camp together, there's a big storm moving in, we're going to pack up in a hurry, I'm getting this fish back, see you guys next time, thanks for watching and remember to tell everybody about us, cheers guys! <laughs>